Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and I'm here to uh, show you a little bit on tables. Um, this is an introductory video, just basically go through a few things that tables can do. Now, tables can do a lot more than what um, we have available in Game Salad, uh, but this is a great start and there's a ton of things you can do um, with the features we have available uh, in tables. Um, simply open your project and you're going to notice a new tab here uh, for tables. Um, and you'll notice we don't have any tables. So to add a table, just hit the plus sign and you can add as many tables as you want and they all get named. Um, but you can double click and rename them. Um, one thing I want to show you right away is I'm going to name this um, random number. Um, let me delete some of these here. Probably shouldn't have opened so many, but just wanted to show you how easy it was. Just delete, delete. Okay, um, so I'm going to go into my scene here, and I'm going to go into scene one, and we'll make an actor here. Now, I'm going to do a change attribute here. And you'll notice now when you go game, the table is right there, random number. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't say that it's a table here. Um, I would have loved for them to put a folder down here for tables or whatever. Um, so there's really no way to tell the difference between a table and an attribute. Um, so I'll show you here. We'll go in here and we're going to create an attribute, uh, boolean just call it FFF and now I'll go home and I'll create another table and I'm gonna call this um, player one and we'll go back to scene and we'll go home and in here again I'm gonna go in here again and now you'll see you know I got my first table my attribute and then my other table and you can't really tell what's an attribute and what's a table so I really 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 recommend when you're making your tables, have an indicator. So, you know, maybe TB uh, random number, and then you know, TB player one. Um, so now I go back in here, and when I'm working with my tables, game, and now, oh, I know that's a table, and I know that's a table, and that's an attribute. Um, so I really, really stress the fact that you should probably name your tables. Um, something that you can distinguish between attributes and tables. Um, that's really important. So let's go into um, our tables here, and I'm just going to show you the layout on them. As you can see, if you have if you ever used Excel, um, you'll notice uh, it's pretty much the same. You have one column, and um, this is a column, and a row is on this side. So that's a row, that's a column. And I can create as many rows as I want, and I can create as many um, columns as I like. Um, for each row, I can choose if it's a text, integer, real, boolean, or angle. Um, and I'm going to choose uh, text, and I'll choose integer, uh, real, um, angle, doesn't really matter. And um, for integer, you'll notice I could type... Uh, one two dot and then a bunch of stuff and when I leave that it just puts it back to one two because an integer is a whole number if you want a decimal you need to use a real attribute so one two dot some stuff there and boom now I got that um, angle um, so angle is zero to three sixty so if I do three ninety it won't let me I gotta go to a three sixty um, and text could be anything. Um, and now a lot of you are probably wondering, you know, why would I want this? Um, and I'm going to have a lot of videos to show you different things that you can do with tables. Um, but right now, I'm just going to show you um, uh, just a brief breakdown of, of some of the, of how to use them basically. Um, so for more detailed stuff, look for some more videos. Um, as you can see, I have too many columns here. You can simply you know, press your arrow down, get rid of those columns. Unfortunately with this, um, I really hope they fix this in the future, but like, say I don't want column 1 anymore, I can't delete that column, um, which sucks. Um, 
Um, one thing you can do though is you could bring it over to another side and then call them out of it. But it would be nice just to delete it and have it uh, have it gone. Um, so again, I'll show you that. You can just drag columns wherever you want them, um, mix them around, just like that. Bring the real one back over. Um, you can um, you can't do that with rows, just with columns. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, you can import a CSV file. So if you um, are working in, in a, a spreadsheet program, uh, the Google Documents or Excel or something like that, um, and you have your table already made, you can import the CSV file. Um, also, if you have a table that you've built in Game Salad, you can export the CSV file, um, which is really cool. Um, we'll go into home. Let me just um, add some stuff here. Let me delete these and we'll turn this to a text and I'm just going to quickly run down here um, wrote some words in there. Um, so now I have a table full of words and I'm going to go home, I'm going to go into my scene here and I'm going to tell, I want to tell it to display uh, one of those words. So I'm going to tell it um, to display text, so we'll get rid of that. Um, go into my display text and I'm going to tell it to display um, this table here. Um, and go OK. And you're going to notice here, let me go back. You know, notice nothing happens. OK, just blank. Um, and the reason for that is because you have to tell it what to display. Um, so, what I'll do is get rid of that. And we're going to go into our expression editor. And you're going to notice we have um, three new options we have table cell value, table column count, and table row count. Um, for the first one, table cell value, that's what we want we want to get a value from one of the cells in the table. Um, so now you'll see there's three options, table, comma, row, comma, column. Um, so for table, you just delete that, and you add game, and then the table you want to use. For the row, um, let's just go for a one for now. And for column, I know it's in column one. Um, and that will give us the first word in our table. So I'll hit OK. Um, we'll choose a color and I'll hit Preview. And now you'll see there's the word from the first um, the first box. And I'll hit back and we can go um, row two this time. And I'll hit Preview and there's our second one. And three. And so on. Now what if you just want a random word from one of those um, cells. That's simple enough. We will go random and I'll just move my arrow over to get the rest of it. And for minimum we're gonna do one because one is the start. And we'll do comma and we know that there's five rows so I could I could just do five no problem. Um, hit preview and green, blue, and I'm just, it's just picking random ones every time I refresh. But what if you go and add stuff to the columns later, or to the rows later? Um, you'd have to come back in here and edit this. So there's a way we can do it so that way you never have to come back and edit this again. So instead of five, we're going to do table row count. And I'll hit the arrow over again here. And so then we're just going to undo table again, take that out of there, and we'll add our table that we're using, game in our table. And so what it's doing is it's saying pick a random number between one and however many rows we have in that table. And I'll hit preview and it still works just as you expect but now we can go in and add more words. So I'll go home tables and let's add some more rows and we're gonna add some more stuff here um, keyboard 
9 glue um, Pepsi and um, cups. Now hit preview again. And there's cups, there's keyboard, there's five. So it's now picking from our list of words and we haven't had to change any of our code. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can do the same for, um, let's go scene. And um, so here we have the column number. You can do the same for column number as we did for row count. Um, simply just use the column count. So if you're just using row one, but you want something random from all the columns, you can do the same thing. Um, so it looks like a long string, but it's not that uh, it, it's not that hard to do. Um, so you just got your your table cell value, which means it's it's searching uh, a cell in your table for the information. You tell it what table you want it to look at. And then here we have the random number between one and however many um, rows we had, and then from column one. Very simple. You'll get the hang of it. Just follow along a couple times, and um, it'll be second nature to you. Um, so that's pretty much it for the basics of um, the tables. But I mean, it's it's very complex. Uh, later on, I'm going to show you a ton of different things that you're going to use tables for. And I promise you're just going to be uh, astonished of, of the kind of things you can add to your game now. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.